Hey. I'm back, baby. So first things first. This microphone from Audio Technica sucks. So don't buy it. If you're thinking about buying a, a lapel microphone, this thing is terrible. What a pisser. And I've tried it lots and lots of different ways, thinking that I was an idiot. Because I am an idiot. And I do stupid things. And sometimes I make mistakes when I shouldn't. But after uh, considerable research and uh, ruling out a lot of my own stupidity as the cause of this thing not working properly, it turns out it's just crap. It's bad. So don't buy it. Hi, I'm Mike. And uh, I'm doing a lesson today on. What am I doing a lesson on? Double paradigm fields. Can you hear this? This is what I live with every day. Mental people. Just making noise. Being disruptive. So, I'm packing this thing up because I'm not going to be using it again. The sound on my Canon 600D is infinitely cleaner than the sound from this lapel microphone pinned here and plugged into the, the cannon. Why would anyone sell a microphone that's worse than no microphone, no external microphone? It's beyond me. And that's just clean, straight into the camera. Not messing with any kind of interfaces or anything like that. There's no reason for it to be terrible, it just is. So, basically, what I want to talk about is, well, a couple of things I'm going to talk about. The first one is the fact that I'm still in this room and not in the new studio, which is pretty much finished, actually. It, it, it has a bit of work left to be done on it, but um, it's got no instruments in it yet. I had a drum kit in it this weekend. Um, to tune up for a guy who, who contacted me and just said hey would you mind tuning my kit so I took the opportunity to get a kit into the room and uh, tune it up and, and play it and I know it was a really good uh, uh, I think it was an Oak Custom a Yamaha Oak Custom which is a fantastic kit and it was a brand new kit that had brand new heads on it um, and uh, it sounded absolutely beautiful in the room so it might have been the fact that the kit was so good and the heads were so so clean and new and everything was just wonderful about it, but you have to attribute some of that crispness and that cleanness to the fact that it was in a purposely built room that has bass traps for walls <laughs> and just it's it's custom designed for to give the best possible sound to drums. So I mean success on that front I guess um, but not so much success in the fact that I'm not there currently um, still got some some delays with that not so happy about that but you know you do what you do you do what you can and uh, we're moving forward on the front we're not, we're not uh, on fire when it comes to progress but we are making slowly making making bits of progress which I'm happy about so there's that um, I haven't done videos in quite a while because I didn't really want to be recording on electronic kits and I had done a couple of videos the last few videos were electronic but I really kind of lost an awful lot of um, interest in doing acoustic um, or doing a dude daddy you're trying to put on our new hats she got her her pants on her head, and no shirt on. <laughs> See the camera? Yes, Dad. Say, say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Don't headbutt the stand. Go show my baby. And I don't get very much privacy here. And there's an awful lot of background noise. So if you're going for like, you know, a professional looking video, this is not the place to do it. But there's no point in pretending to you guys that I'm in a sterile environment. 
I'm not. I'm at home. In my house. Um, and I do want to be primarily a teacher, not like an engineer or a producer. So if the quality of what I'm sending out there isn't to the same quality as a production studio, that shouldn't be a surprise to you. Um, I'm only starting to get comfortable talking to a camera. And comfortable is even like a bit of an exaggeration. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever be 100% comfortable, but hey, whatever. It's If you haven't sat in front of a camera with no one else in the room and tried to talk to a, a lens, and you're giving abuse to people who do it badly, then you're an idiot. Um, you can't pass comments on other people's efforts to do things, put themselves out of their comfort zones, if you've not done it yourself. And honestly, if you have done it yourself, it's very unlikely, it seems impossible to me. Don't buy this, this is terrible. It seems unpos impos impossible, impossible to me that anyone who, was, who has done this um, wouldn't have sympathy for someone struggling or not being particularly professional. When, when they come to it. So, my next video is going to be on uh, double paradiddles, or uh, they're also called paradiddle diddles, and it's going to be in this room. Um, and that's a conscious decision because I can hold off another week and push forward on the studio, but the fact of the matter is, I don't want to use that as an excuse for not doing, and I have. I have this this lesson plan done out for this. I think it's it's good. So um, the studio's coming soon. I'll probably bring the camera in someday during the week and uh, show it to you. Um, and hopefully you'll like that. Um, and I'm I'm gonna actually go and record this lesson plan now. Depending on how this looks. If this looks terrible, I probably won't upload this and I won't do the lesson plan tonight. But I am eternally optimistic. Okay guys, um, if you're looking at this and I haven't linked the video, it's because I've, I've not uploaded it yet. Um, but if I have, then the link should be on screen or in the description. Um, thanks for watching. Take a look at some of the older videos. Um, subscribe if you haven't, because uh, that gives me a kind of a benchmark as to how I'm doing and whether what I'm doing is interesting enough for to keep doing it, because um, that's the only reason to do it. If people are, are getting some benefit out of it, I'll keep doing it. Um, and all the all the benefits I've gotten out of it are huge. Like I've, I've I've met many drummers that I've become really good friends with through this, um, and uh, I've even gotten in touch with a, a number of students through this, where they've contacted me after watching some of the videos and said, "I like the way you teach," and uh, I've I've gone to other teachers and I want to try you and it's it's resulted in actual business coming to me so it's not just a, a hobby um, but it, it is um, a nice mix of I do this because I love it and I do this because it leads into my job which is great it's great to, to have a nice mix between hobby and profession um, so uh, comments in, this, in the comment section let me know what you want me to talk about or let me know what you think of the whole thing. Um, and if you like this vlog style piece of camera, let me know that too and I'll, I'll do more of them because I'd like to do more. I just, you never know what the right thing to upload is. So um, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully this is good and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Yikes.